What's up internet? Recently naglabas kami ng video na kung bibili ka ng PC parts sa 2022, ano yung kailangan mo malaman para hindi masayang pera mo. Pero pwede pang dagdagan yung video na yun kasi lahat ng knowledge dun puro theoretical lang. Sa bagong series na to, we're going to get our hands dirty. Practical naman. Titingin tayo talaga sa what do the parts look like, where do they go, how do you assemble them inside the computer. And para sa part na yun, ano hinahanap mo para alam mo na medyo quality yung gawa dun sa item na yun. So nakagawa na kami nung video about a PSU. Panahon naman para sa motherboard. So yung good example natin for motherboard is this Biostar Z690 Racing GTA. Z690 is for the latest 12th gen builds. This is what a typical motherboard box looks like. Pamitan may mga customers kami nagtatanong na ba't hindi sealed yung motherboard box. Kahit brand new yan 100%. Hindi usually nakabalot yung motherboard box. It's in an ESD bag. That you call that ESD, yung electrostatic discharge. So what we usually do before we touch any part is we ground ourselves. You touch a metal part, so I'm touching the metal part of this case, para madischarge any excess energy that's on me. Although ito yung particular BioStar Z690 motherboard, uh, sinasabi ni BioStar na may ESD protection na siya. Uh, I haven't tested that personally. Pero good to note the claim ng manufacturer na naka-harden na to against ESD. Yung maganda about itong particular BioStar motherboard, it has PCIe 5, which is the latest PCIe gen. Di ko pa nga na-accept na PCIe 4, may PCIe 5 na. It has two M.2 slots. So, again, very typical of current motherboard design. Dito yung first M.2 slot. Yung slot na physically closer to the CPU, that's where you want to put your fastest NVMe drive. Dun sa mga design ngayon ng mga motherboards, yung pinakamalapit na N.2 slot, siya yung may parang direct pipeway to the CPU. So, this particular slot has faster access. Pabigat ng pabigat yung mga GPU, especially yung mga high-end. So, a lot of the manufacturers now are making their PCIe slots sturdier using metal like this. Slots para sa RAM nandito sa kanan ng CPU. The upper center part of the motherboard is where the CPU goes. This is an ATX motherboard. Usually, apat naman talaga yung DIMM slots or yung RAM slots sa ATX motherboard. Dito din sa isa pang sample natin, you'll notice exactly the same. Pero sa ilalim nito, nandito yung CPU. Sa kanan ng CPU, nandito yung apat na DIMM slots. Just like our model Biostar Z690 motherboard. Generally, the more higher-end motherboards have a lot more capacitors. Yan yung mga bilog na mukhang tower dito sa side ng motherboard. Capacitors form part of the VRMs or the voltage regulator modules. And yun yung hinahanap ng mga enthusiasts. Better VRMs ensure na tama yung kuryente na napupunta dun sa mga ibang components. Kasi lahat ng components sa computer, nakasaksak dito sa motherboard. You want the proper current and a clean current going to your components and that's what good quality VRMs are supposed to do. Pero since VRMs deal with current, umiinit talaga sila. And yan yung current design ngayon, parang yung left part nung CPU where a lot of the VRMs naka-armor na siya. Some manufacturers call them armor, some brands call them shielding, but basically they do look like this. Ganon din siya dito sa MSI motherboard. Armor is just marketing blah blah. Pero yung maganda dito, usually may extra cooling. Umiinit talaga yung mga VRMs. Good quality motherboards have good quality cooling for their VRMs. You notice nga dito sa Biostar Z690, may fan dito. And hindi lang dito. Karaniwan naman usually yung ibang manufacturers naglalagay talaga ng fans para hindi lang passive cooling yung VRMs. May fan dito. Pero, um, in something unique to this BioStar Z690 MOBO, ngayon ko lang pa ito nakita, may dalawang cooling fans pa dito sa taas ng CPU. So, now you know what a motherboard looks like, how is it usually installed? Sa likod nung lahat yung motherboard. So, the motherboard is directly screwed into the case. So, let's do that now. So, this is a Cooler Master A500 ARGB. And usually you want the case flat. All right. So you notice these are the risers of the case. You don't want the motherboard actually physically touching the case because this is metal. The motherboard is metal. Magsha short yan. Uh, it's a it's a very bad time. Kung mangyari yun, uh, it's catastrophe. So sobrang mahalaga tong mga yung risers dito sa case. So we put the case flat. Yung I/O segment ng motherboard dito talaga sa slot na naka-prepare na for the I.O. segment. 
So you line it up first with the I.O. segment, which is usually here on the top of the of the keys. Once naka line up na siya with the input output segment of the motherboard, dito sa prepared cut out ng case, you notice na usually naka align na yung risers sa design ng motherboard. Kasi motherboards may mga butas din yon para maka align dun sa riser sa case. We're aligned here for the I.O. segment, we're aligned dito sa riser, dito, dito. Once naka align na yan, then you secure it with screws. So you put a screw here, 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 sa lahat ng mga butas ng motherboard na naka-align dun sa risers of the case. So once naka-align na yan, and you screw it in, you can make the case right side up, tapos ganito na siya. Lahat ng mga components mo, pwede mo na isalpak sa motherboard. Yung usual way of installing a PC, linalagay mo na yung RAM sa motherboard, and then that's when you put the motherboard inside. And also, of course, the CPU. Basically, you want to put all of the small parts into the motherboard before you insert the motherboard into the case. And then you'll have to deal with the power cable. So this is the 24-pin main power to the MOBO. Uh, you'll also have to deal with the power of the peripherals and the GPU and any RGB you have. Medyo pare-pareho lang naman yung designs of motherboards lately. So you'll have the SATA bank here, the main power here on the left. And then here are the various USB cables. These are the usually nandito yung ARGB headers for your RGB components. Dito din yung these very little headers for yung power switch on the case and the reset button and the indicator light button. Nakatago din dito. It's hard to see but nandito yung CMOS battery. Overall, a very interesting motherboard from Biostar. I do really like this top cooling VRM. We should test it out. Layunin natin sa series na to uh, to encourage people to get their hands dirty. If kung hindi ka mag assemble at least you know what a motherboard looks like, where all the different parts go, paano siya pinapasok sa case, para patuloy natin ma demystify yung mga PC components. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.